Hello guys, so I apologize for this brief um, <laughs> pause, but I just really quick needed to say that this video ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, I thought that after I edited it, it would only be like maybe 30 minutes max, but really, <laughs> It's going to be, you know, have to be a part one and a part two. So this is part one. I just want to let y'all know. Uh, I'll probably upload part two next week, next Friday. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys don't mind. But on to the video. Here we are. I have my time capsule right here. It is an old marker container. <laughs> um, and all along it, I wrote down different like bands and stuff that was, um, I guess, relevant at the time that I created it. Predominantly, I just wrote bands and stuff like that that I used to listen to. I'm actually super excited to open this, I'm nervous. I was really hoping to open this with some of my friends, but unfortunately that's not gonna happen. I made this cap time capsule, I think about, probably I started collecting things for it, maybe from, when I was 12 to when I was 16, I was like making the time capsule. Um, and I remember that when I was probably 15 or so, me and my friends all put something in here. Um, and then we opened it when I think I was about 22 years old, but honestly, I don't remember like looking through anything. I know that we did, I recorded it, but I, Number one, I don't know where the footage is. Number two, I don't recall anything in here. So um, I remember there was this little questionnaire thing, but that's all I really remember about what's in here. Um, and I know that I think my friends took their stuff out of it because they read it and I think they kept it. But if there's anything in here that belongs to them, obviously that's for them personally. I'm not going to open it or look through it. but. Today we're just gonna go through what's mine and I don't think that they had too much in it. So fortunately there's that as well. So we're just gonna open this today. I'm 25 years old. That is when I wanted to open this. So <laughs> here we are. Oh, I'm so nervous. Already I'm seeing a lot of paper, a lot of probably notes or things that I was, I guess we should just go one by one. So this is a little, I know what this is. These were little like Hello Kitty, you can see them. They were like little charms. I was collecting them when I was like 13, 12 or 13. Um, and they were like, they would go on your phone, I guess. Like they would have that little like string loop at the top of them that you would put through your phone, if you remember. Um, oh, and they could also come out of their little Thingies. So I have a few of them. I'm not sure if I collected all of them, but I know that I had a few of them. Here's one of them. Uh, here's the little thing. And again, this little thing can come off, but I think it was incredibly difficult to put them back in. But I'll do one for you guys. So that way you can see. So. That's her. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. So this, on it, it says to Victoria, which is my sister-in-law. Um, I don't know if it was a letter that I was gonna send or what. I guess it was a letter that I was gonna send, but I didn't. Um, so let's see what it contains. Um, and also if you guys don't mind, I'm going to block out some stuff that might be sensitive or too personal. Um, I know that that's kind of like the point of the time capsule, but there's just some things that I think I might have written about or whatever that I just don't necessarily feel like sharing to the internet, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I hope you guys understand. I will be sharing a lot, obviously, with you today. This is my time capsule that I made when I was 13 to 12 to 16. So obviously there are things that I will share with you, but some things I might take out if it's too personal. So, oh, this was in 2014. So, all right. So I, I was still putting things continually in the time capsule over the years, you guys, apparently. Um, I guess I didn't cap it off technically, which a time capsule, I guess, is supposed to be from a certain time in your life, but I just kept adding things in throughout the years, so I apologize for that. I 
I don't know. I don't know why I did that, but I did it that way. I guess because it was above ground and it was just in a safe spot. And I knew that I wouldn't look in it. So I would just add things like, oh, okay, this might be a memorable, fun little thing to look back on when I'm in, in my 20s. Um, so anyway, I wrote this when I was 18 years old, uh, September 9th, 2014. So that was intense. Um, so the first letter didn't really go, uh, it's <laughs> so great. Uh, great memories, wow, thanks. So this letter is very personal. Um, and I obviously did not end up giving it to my sister-in-law for a good reason. Um, and the reason was because a lot of the stuff in here is very personal and dark. And I think I didn't want to burden or upset her at the time because she already had a lot of things going on um, in her life personally. So that letter um, I am not going to share because it's a little dark uh, and I'm just... I would like to share more of the happier memories, if they exist at this point. I'm not sure. That's not giving me too much uh, hope, but uh, we shall see. So the next thing, I'm just going to pull out random things. Aww. So um, I watched this movie with my friends, and I guess technically it was the first time I hung out with my friends Amara and Jordan. Um, we watched a movie, um, it was Ghost in the Shell, and I kept it because I'm sentimental. Um, that was in 2017. Like I said, I kept, like, really weird, uh, things throughout the years. It wasn't just a one-shot, okay, this year, 2011, for example, I'm just gonna put a bunch of stuff in here, so. Okay, this is letter number three. I don't know what that means, but it's letter number three, so I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> I wanna read it in order, if at all possible. Um, what does this say? Oh, so this is, let me see if I can even read that. That's so faded. Um, February 20th, 2017, the first time I pumped my own gas. Oh, <laughs> cause I got my driver's license. I think when I was about 19 years old, I officially got my driver's license. Um, and so that was in 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And so I just, I held on to every little thing that made me feel proud of myself back then because it was such a huge obstacle for me to get my driver's license. And not because I, I, I tried the test multiple times and I failed it, but just because I had a lot of issues with trying to progress over the years. I had a lot of things that I guess stunted my growth as an individual um, happen to me throughout my life. And I think that any little grown up thing <laughs> that I did made me feel proud of myself and made me feel happy. Um, and so I would keep like little sentimental things like that. Um, and it, it just meant a lot to me. So that's why you'll see like random things like that. Like, oh, you pumped gas for the first time. What does that matter? It's just, it meant a lot. This was my first day working at Panera. Um, these are my, I think they're my uh, check-in slips. Yeah, clock in and clock out slips. That's cool. So what is this? Oh, I got a twofer. So this I'm gonna open first because this is the first thing I picked out. I'll open that right after. Um, let's see what this is. I'm not gonna read this. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will read this for myself later potentially, but this is a um, this is a letter apparently that is not really a letter. It's more of a like I'm venting about my life and it is kind of it's a little intense. So I'm gonna leave that for later. Apparently I would write and kind of vent um, this is also kind of dark. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna be honest with you guys. A lot of things, at the time that I was writing a lot of these, I think that, or the time that I, was, I made this time capsule in general to the time that I stopped putting things in here, um, I think I was in a very dark, dark place in my life. 
like I mean already like two three different things that are already very very dark and you know just venting or upset about my life and how it's going so this time capsule might not be the most positive thing um I was hoping that it would be very like uplifting and positive looking forward to the future or stuff like that but I I'm starting to understand more and more where I was at back then which makes me sad of course because I'm not the same person I was back then as I am now so reading a lot of these things kind of is taking me back um, and making me feel sorry for that person but like you know it is what it is I have to keep reading um, but I'm now starting to understand more probably despite the the happy little outer shell of this time capsule there's probably a lot of sad things in here because I was just a very sad person yeah this is probably also gonna be dark because I just read something on the outside that's kind of eh. I'm not gonna read that there's huh I really hope this doesn't continually go this way I'm hoping to read something fun and light at some point Okay, so let's see, what is this? This is printed. Oh, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So it's something that me and my friend printed out for the school. Um, we were in charge of making a, a school yearbook for I think our senior year. Yeah, it was our senior year of high school. And we wanted to do a yearbook because um, the school used to do yearbooks. They stopped doing yearbooks because there was a lot of people who wanted the yearbook for free. And so um, me and my friend decided to uh, take pictures and do our own yearbook um, with the support of the school. So it was more of a not financial support or anything like that. We both paid for any like little things here and there that needed to be done. We took care of everything. Um, and we wrote out this letter. It has my cousin's name on it because I think I was gonna give it to her, but then I didn't. It says, dear parents and fellow students, we are beginning to put together a school yearbook. We have dates set up to take individual pictures. So the pictures of people's classes and stuff like that. On these designated days, you are allowed to wear non-uniform clothing. Girls must not wear inappropriate clothing. No spaghetti straps, no bra strap showing, no v-neck or low cut shirts. Boys, no tank tops or sagging pants. If you do not follow this dress code, you will, be, you will not be featured in the yearbook and will not be able to purchase one. We meant business. <laughs> do not come to school with non-uniform clothes unless it is your day to take pictures. We have received suggestions for the yearbook plans. Uh, thank you, but no more suggestions will be necessary from this point on. A little note to uh, those in school. Oh, look at this, you guys. It says, questions for my older self. Wow. Okay, I'm scared. Um, but I will open it. This will probably give me a little bit of reprieve from all of the dark stuff that I didn't want to read. I'll actually put this in... This is my personal pile. You guys will see over here, like things that I was able to share with you. Um, so questions for my older self. Uh, okay. So. Okay, so there's a few. There's 16 questions. There's some on the back. The first question is, how is blank doing? And then we have multiple choice like multiple people listed a b c d e f g whatever uh the first person listed is my dad um my dad's doing good my dad's doing really good a lot better than he was when i wrote this i think which is why i wrote this um i wish that i would have i think i gave my own answers to the questions though that's what's throwing me off is that i swore i but maybe i didn't okay so Again, dad's doing good. <laughs> How is Buddy, my cat, doing? Buddy is doing just fine. He's in the other room, sleeping on my chair. Uh, how is Danny doing? Danny's doing just fine. Danny's an outside cat now. He's no longer an inside cat. How is Slither doing? Slither was my ball python. I loved her very, very much. Um, I won't show any pictures in case people have any snake phobias or anything like that, but 
Uh, she passed away. She was still very young. I think she she passed away from a uh, an infection that she got from a bite when she was uh, feeding. Um, but yeah, unfortunately she passed away a few years ago now, but that happened. How are all my cousins doing? I think my cousins are doing good for the most part. Um, I, can't, I don't always keep up to date with everybody, I just can't, but it seems like the majority, everybody's doing really well. And how is he doing? It was my best friend, dude. Like, I have no clue because we've lost contact throughout the years, but um, she was one of my best friends. In any case, so the next question, question number two, is did I ever become, and then I wrote down different options is what I wrote down. So a poet, <laughs> no, unfortunately we, we are just not that, we're not that good, my friend, sorry. A writer, I still write on occasion. I would really like to um, actually make my own webtoon comic at some point. Um, I still have a lot of ideas in my head about um, stories and things like that that I've written throughout the years. And I would really, really, really like to do that. Did I ever become an artist? I think that I am an artist. I'm not like uh, uh, an official artist, I think from other people's standpoints, but I am an artist. I like to draw, I like to paint. <laughs> like I, I technically, I guess I'm an artist. Did I ever become a photographer? Unfortunately, my friend, no, we did not. And what job do I have now? as like a little side question. Um, I work for a food delivery service. I'm sure anybody could probably take a wild guess and probably be correct. So number three, do I still do any of the activities in question two? I'd say I do the majority of that. Like I definitely still write. I still um, paint and draw. I still take pictures from time to time. I'm just, I'm not really into poetry as much as I used to be, unfortunately. Number four, did me and Morgan ever dig up that time capsule in the backyard of my old house? No, I'm sorry. I really wanted to be able to do that. That time capsule that I'm referring to in that question was a time capsule that me, my friend, and my cousin uh, buried in my backyard years ago. Like when we, not when we first became friends, but pretty close to that time, I think. Um, and I was just asking if we ever dug it up, um, and found it because I remember we were going to, we planned on it when I wrote these questions that we were going to go back to my old house and dig it up. But unfortunately we could never find it. Like, I still don't know what happened. I think it might've disintegrated. It could have gotten broken up over time and what have you. So I think that's what happened. Question five, is anyone from school still my friend? If they are, who are they? Um, so do I still have any friends from school? Yes. I'm not going to name any names, but yeah, I'm still friends with, uh, some of the people from school. Question number six, does my mom still try to contact me? <laughs> Fortunately, no, my mom does not still try to contact me. I think that she stopped contacting me when I was around 18 or 19 years old. So. Um, and that's, that's a good thing because, um, me and my mom, we don't have a good relationship. And so, um, the reason why I probably asked that is because she would try to, uh, email me a lot when, back when I was writing this and, um, try to talk to me. Like I said, we don't have a good relationship. So it was one of those things that I just kind of wanted to be left alone. Like, okay, well, let's just not talk because we're just not... It, it's not going to be good for either one of us, I think. So let's just not have that sort of relationship. Question seven, has my style changed? Um, I'd say so. I was very much into that whole emo and scene type of look back in the day. Um, so yeah, my style has definitely changed. The reason why I didn't want to go too into depth is because I knew that the, the next question was vaguely. So what is my hair slash hair color like now? Um, I am rocking the natural hair color, my dude. Um, and it is, um, 
it's not straight anymore. I don't straighten it very often. It is curly, but it is super long. Um, I try to go with my natural hair because I used to dye my hair a lot and I just got tired of it. So I think that's why I was asking those questions. I was just curious, you know, like, oh, what do I look like now? Uh, question or uh, next question in that question is what is my music taste like now? I listen to a lot of stuff. I listen to anywhere from 60s to like 90s slash 2000s, like early 2000s music. I like a little bit of everything at this point, which I used to back then, but I was a little more like, I had my little, my favorites, my favorite genres and stuff like that. So right now it's more like a lot of disco music. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna die up here if I have to listen to any more god off disco music. So what is my clothing taste like now? Um, black, <laughs> which I'm sure I could have guessed back then was probably not gonna change. Um, I still prefer to wear everything black if I can, um, but it's really very similar to how I was starting to dress when I was maybe 19, no graphic t-shirts, just like plain. And then just, like I said, predominantly black. I wear a lot of hats now. But yeah, my clothing taste is pretty much stayed the same. I still like the style that I used to wear. I just, I wouldn't wear it nowadays is really what it is. Oh, number nine, YouTube questions. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Do I still have my YouTube accounts? <laughs> um, yes and no. Um, this YouTube channel I think I made in 2013, which is probably my like only surviving YouTube account, unfortunately. I had multiple YouTube channels throughout my life, you guys. And um, my first YouTube channel was BWAA2. Um, I, it's my cat's nickname or was my cat's nickname, Bois. So Bois2, um, which was my username for everything at the time. Then I made another YouTube channel that was just for me and my friends videos called Omnifog. It was spelled O-M-N-I-F-O-G. Um, and I don't know if it stood for anything. I think it was just a funny, funny name that we came up with. And then after that, I made a YouTube channel called The Real Ronnie 01. And Ronnie was a nickname that I kind of, me and my friend, uh, can't say her name, I'm probably gonna block it out, but we came up with um, nicknames that we liked. And that was the one that I really gravitated toward was Ronnie. I, I always liked the name Ronnie. She would call me Ronnie all the time and I would call her by the nickname that she had. But yeah, so I had a lot of YouTube channels. My current one is the only surviving one at this point. I still wish I would have kept the videos that I posted on our friend channel and on my old channel because they were so personal and just old. Like videos from 2008 to 2011, um, just that meant so much to me that I don't have anymore um, because somebody made me get rid of them. Um, I'm not gonna say any names, but I'm still a little salty about it. <laughs> In any case, uh, yes and no. I, do I still have my YouTube accounts? Uh, do I still watch? Oh wow, and then I have lists of people that I used to watch. Oh my gosh, uh, that's embarrassing. Okay, so, wow, this did not age well. Um, do I still watch Shane Dawson? No. <laughs> uh, B, do I still watch Amazing Phil? Nope. See, uh, do I still watch 365 Days? No. He stopped making videos at a certain point in time. And so they're like, I couldn't watch his videos because he wasn't uploading any. Um, D, do I still watch Dan is not on fire? Nope. Uh, do I still watch E, Live Lava Live? Nope. Although I do appreciate the keen interest in what, like, am I still watching these people that I used to love watching? <laughs> Those people may help me get through some years of my life, dog. And if so, how are they doing? Oh, that's cute. Um, so how are they doing? Uh, okay, I guess I can answer this question to the best of my knowledge. Shane Dawson, not doing great scandals here and there. 
Uh, don't want to get too much into it. Amazing Phil, I think he's doing good. I don't know. I haven't really done any recent research. Um, 365 days. He uploaded something a little while ago about going and meeting a fan. Dan is not on fire. How is he doing? He's, I, I think he's okay. Like I said, I haven't looked into any of these people as of recent, except for Shane Dawson, because it's always on the trending page. Oh, Shane Dawson this, Shane Dawson that. So like, I just, you know, that really any of these people, I really don't know how they're doing. I imagine they're doing okay. Another YouTube question was, did I ever get big on YouTube? Um, no, not really. Um, I had people follow me from school, which was really cool at a certain point. I think throughout the years, my entire subscriber count might have been like two to 300. I don't know. I think I might have had a thousand subscribers on my BWAA2 account, but I really don't know. I think that was my biggest YouTube account, but again, I had to get rid of it because somebody wanted me to get rid of it. Um, and I was 12 at the time, so I kind of had to listen to them, even though I didn't want to. Um, a little salty, but we'll get over it. <laughs> uh, so after all these YouTube questions, number 10, do I miss being younger? No, I don't actually. The circumstances in which I grew up around were not always the brightest circumstances. So I think that's why I really don't miss being younger and especially I mean, heck, you guys already see there's letters that I will refuse to read um, and little notes that I refuse to read because I was in a dark space a lot of my life um, for a large portion of my life. So no, I don't miss being younger. Do I miss school? No. Actually, in fact, funny enough, I literally still have nightmares about going to school. Like I have nightmares that I can't graduate high school and that they made me stay back another year um, before I could graduate. And literally, I still have nightmares about it. So no, I do not miss school. What was I like in the years after 2011? Um, after the years of 2011, it kind of did one of these. 2011 was very boring, very neutral for a majority, and it kind of had its really bad lows from time to time, if I'm remembering correctly. Then 2012 to 2015, I would say, things got really, really, really bad. And then after 2015, things started kind of looking up um, and just progressively got better. So uh, things got worse, then they got better, long and short. What mistakes did I make? Buddy, what mistakes didn't we make? <laughs> It's kind of hard to think about because if I'm thinking about the year 2011 when I probably wrote this, actually, I don't know. Like, I made a lot of mistakes. I, I wish that I would have gotten my um, driver's license earlier. I wish that I wouldn't have um, had sat on the couch for years after I graduated high school. Um, like I said, this is my first job at Panera, you guys. Like, it was my first official, official job. Um, and that was in 2017. That was how many years after I graduated school? That was like four years after I graduated um, because I was just in a terrible, terrible pit of depression. Um, and so there was a lot of mistakes I made. I don't want to get too much into it. I don't want to focus on the mistakes, but we'll skim past that. Mistakes don't really matter. The point is I'm here now, fortunately, my mistakes led to my successes, if that makes any sense. Question 14, am I interested uh, in a guy yet? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm married, so yes, I, I am interested in one individual and one individual only. <laughs> uh, 15, did I ever get skinny like I wanted to? Me with the whole skinny mentality when I was younger, oh my goodness. Um, I got fit, yes. Um, I got healthy, yes. Um, I slimmed down quite a bit, yes. Um, I think, well, when I wrote this, I was like 150 plus pounds, I think. And so I was very insecure. And um, my, a big goal of mine was to be skinny and not like in a healthy way. So it was just one of those things that I was very insecure and wanted to lose weight quick and just wanted to look skinny and feel pretty and 
all that negative stuff. I'm sure you guys can remember that time. If you're around my age, like 22 to 25 years old, maybe even a little bit older, you probably remember that era on Tumblr, um, the, the, the part of, I, I can't say these words on YouTube anymore because I, you know, I'm not allowed to, I think, but um, there was just very unhealthy lifestyles being promoted on Tumblr um, back in 2011, 2010 probably too, to 2012 to 13, probably even still now. I don't know because I'm not involved on that anymore, but, um, or up to date with it, but I had a very bad mentality um, because of that. Uh, and not just because of that, but just because I had poor body image, you know, but I got fit. Yes, I got, I looked nice. <laughs> I felt good about myself. So yes and no. Uh, 16, what is my life like now besides anything that these questions have already revealed? My life is good. Um, I am married. I have, we're renting this beautiful home. Um, I, you know, I'm still, I still have depression and it still acts up every now and again, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. I have a good, healthy relationships with people that mean a lot to me. And for the most part, I'm, I think I'm really, really happy. And so that's where I'm at now. <laughs> and e even though my YouTube channel is growing very, very slowly, it's still like something I really, really enjoy doing. And same thing with my fitness, even though I, you know, got off track with my fitness and being fit in general, you know, I, you know, I, I'm the type of person that I fall off and I get back on. Like, it's not a big deal. So my life is good. My life is really good. I'm very fortunate.